Hello. Let's start out with a hello. Hello. How are all of you? You can really tell that Snail Trail is one of the pride and joys around here, as well as Enticer. Those are just the ones that I've been on that I've noticed that have extra care and clearing and crimping the trails. It's, it's really, really well done. Really nice. So unless you want to make a mistake like me, don't, don't go up Snail Trail. I highly, highly do not recommend that. Unless you want to push your bike uphill on berms that are really steep for two miles. Uphill, both ways, in the snow, with ankle weights on. Yeah, otherwise find another way to get up here. <sighs> oh. Yes, mistakes were made. almost two and a quarter miles up the trail and the, the trailhead's like right there but there's just something in me today that just, just that just can't make it to the tip top and this trail is really not designed to be going up it so I'm just gonna stop and it's just too dangerous. There's blind corners, there's berms to where if someone comes around the berm, there's nowhere for you to be and it's just not worth getting into a crash. And so anyhow, um, now that I've been on this trail and I know how it is, I will need to pick a different way next time. There are some other ways on trail forks, but again, I've rode Miner's Loop and Lower Mule Trail and Wintu Trail and they're not direction specific. So that said, this trail is, so is Enticer and to continue to go up this trail would just be plain stupid, not smart. So I'm just gonna, even though the trailhead I know is just up and around that corner, I'm just gonna call it starting point right here, right where I'm at, um, and just play on the safe side. It's not worth hurting somebody else. But like I said, I got two miles of downhill I could do, so that's more than enough. But I just thought I'd share that. Um, it's a noob mistake. I'm a noob. I will totally admit that. I'm going into the sport completely and utterly blind. It's kind of, you know, embarrassing, but whatever, if it helps you guys, then that's, I'm all down with that. So let's, let's stop talking and start descending because, oh my goodness, I have so earned it. really long story. Okay, never mind. It's called stalling. Okay, put your face where you want to go. Okay, I'm not using the berms, and to me that's a dangerous sign already to begin with. Because that's what they're for. They're designed to be used because there's copious amounts of speed to whip the bike out. I'm going to stop talking now because I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just nervous. Whee! Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Oh no! Dude, noob mistake. I didn't have my suspension on. What? Silly girl.
that makes me sad. <sighs> really need a dropper post. I feel like it's not smart to be on this trail, but you know what? If I can scoop my booty back behind my seat, then why not? Whoa! definitely above my pay grade. I don't know what uh, it should not be recommended to people who like me. This is really um, yeah. Whatever. Just get off. Walk it. Guys, why am I freaking out on these berms? I'm hoping that this will become a lower mule revisited track. Uh, I'm gonna keep going here, do what I can. We have amazing trails here in Reading, and I really feel like it would be so awesome to have a skills clinic out here in the, on these trails and I know it's taking time to bounce back from the fire but it's just a suggestion because I think a lot of people people like me <laughs> would would benefit from from this and I mean if you want people to go outside and play sometimes you just gotta teach them <laughs> oh you guys I appreciate you hanging in there with me. But this is where I'm at. It's a great trail. So beautiful. I really love its flowiness and I cannot wait until I can nail this trail down. It is exquisite. Just, you can really tell it's one of the crown jewels around here. It's so compact and there's very little to no death cookies. This is my only instance right now to, to see a few, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. It's so nice. If you come here to Swayze and you think that doing Enticer is is the only thing we got, you're mistaken. We have this beautiful snail trail. And if you skip it, you really missed out. Because this is just, hey, I did a burn. So yay. Um, Cause this is nice, this is so nice. That was a little low. Cause it's not, okay, yeah, it's not black diamond. You assume that everything black diamond is is gonna be like oh that's the biggest and the baddest and the best yeah it's it's big it's got some big jumps it's pretty awesome it's really cool watching people the people that know how to do it but um what was i gonna say i don't know oh yeah so just because you come to reading or visiting reading and you hit up the uh Enticer Trail. This is not, that's not all we got to offer. This, this snail trail is just so cool. So totally, you come to Reading and you want a really nice, smooth, challenging trail, do the snail trail. Like I said, Enticer is great, it's Black Diamond, it's challenging, big jumps, but don't, don't skip up the snail trail.
confident on the berm. Like I said though, just means I'm gonna be better next time. Next go. Berm conquering. <laughs> I love this sport. guys thanks for watching if you, ooh, that was strong win if you haven't yet please subscribe hit that like button and leave a comment if you like thanks so much for all your support we'll be back we'll be visiting snail trail again mama's got some things that she needs to finish up on that hill so have a great week also don't forget to follow me on instagram mtb underscore mom 18 that would be really great try and upload things daily so have a good one <laughs>